Toastmasters and distinguished guests, I'd like to speak about something that has the potential to impact everyone in this room and to be a catalyst for very positive change in your life. I'm here to discuss the concept of non-credit continuing education classes, and they're available at your local community college or your local university. And by the end of this presentation, you will know the importance of continuing education and why everyone can benefit from taking non-credit continuing ed courses. It's definitely worth your time and your resources and your energy. I have a PhD in education and I'm a certified teacher of the visually impaired and after college I took a job with benefits but my dream has always been to teach at the college level. So about a year ago I put together a proposal and I submitted it to Johnson County Community College and I was told that it would fit into the continuing ed non-credit course system. And I was quite disappointed. Uh, prestige, of course, uh, to me was teaching a four credit class with the syllabus and the exams and so forth. Oh, how wrong I was. Not only will I teach non-credit continuing ed classes in the future, I will also be a continuing ed student for many, many years to come. Now why will continuing ed courses potentially impact everyone here? I have three points for why it should and can impact everyone. First point is new skills, no pressure. The fact that you are a Toastmaster means that you are a seeker of self-improvement. And now imagine a classroom and taking a course where the sole purpose is to learn. There is no cramming, no exams. I'm going to take that back just a little bit. You are cramming. You're cramming for life. When I taught my course in special education, actually the subject was Braille last semester, I had parents that were there because they wanted to learn Braille so that they could transcribe books for their children who were blind and also check their homework and be an active participant in that process. In my position as a communications coordinator at the world headquarters of a nonprofit organization, we get a lot of Spanish speaking callers and I wanted to be able to handle those callers myself. And so I enrolled in a conversational Spanish class. And I'd had Spanish before, but it had been many, many years. And after eight sessions, I learned more about the language and the culture than I could have ever imagined. I had a professor who was from Ecuador, and it was just an extremely gratifying experience. I learned so much. Your final exam uh, will be the catalyst for everything that you've done in that class, and it will be a means of examining, a, a, the final exam will be the skills that you have acquired, that is your final exam for any non-credit continuing ed class. And it's a more important exam than any other that you will ever take because it impacts your life. Second point, non-credit continuing ed classes can assist you with job security. Employers are always looking for workers who have many, many skill sets. And at my workplace, for instance, if you are bilingual, you can make 20% more money in those positions which require a bilingual individual in them. So there are, there are also Braillists uh, positions in school districts for people who know how to transcribe Braille. There are sign language interpreter positions for people who know how to sign in school districts. And you know, you may even get continuing ed credit uh, at work for taking some of these courses. And even though you'll have to take more advanced courses to actually make that happen, it all starts with that first continuing ed class that you decided to take. By the way, CPR is also a non-credit continuing ed course, and you may get a few brownie points at work if you save someone's life if they have a heart attack. <laughs> Point three, continuing ed courses are great for your health. Now we all know someone, and we've seen this scenario too many times. You have the empty nest syndrome, you have someone who's widowed, or they're single, and then they get to the age where they retire, and suddenly all their plans and aspirations uh, fade away and the loneliness sets in. That's, folks, when you're at the greatest risk for Alzheimer's disease and dementia. And it's very important to keep your mind engaged, to keep yourself active. 
and continuing ed courses that uh, Johnson County Community College anyway cost only $99 for 16 contact hours it's great for people on a fixed income. You can learn the skill, you can use it to volunteer, and you can use it to interact with the world. So I hope I've convinced everyone why continuing ed courses are of value to each and every one of us in this room. They can enhance your life skills, they can enhance your job security, they can increase your salary range, they can increase your chances of interacting with others, and they can increase your emotional stability. So I urge you to experience continuing education for yourself. Thank you.